All right. Okay, uh, should I show you my use case of how I want to implement search first? Yeah, yeah, that'd be helpful. Yeah, right. Okay, I'll uh, I'll share the screen. Make it easier, maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, how do I? All right. Okay. So can you see this? Yep. All right. So here is my search. It works perfect. Sweet. It indexes it by the the title of the product, in my case, it's the WooCommerce site and the content of it. Now, what I need to is uh, inside of the product, I have a field which is a barcode. So users can search uh, via the barcode of the product. So this, this would be unique of it. So when users search about the bar barcode, they know what they are searching about. So that's it. But I want this field to be searchable. Okay. Um, so do you have like access to something like SQL Pro or another thing we can uh, open up your SQL database with? Uh, all right. Uh, I just want to take a look at how we're storing it and this is all right all right so is this what we're looking for yeah exactly so can you show me where like that barcode gets stored is it just post meta or something different mm, um i don't uh, really know but it's um from uh, oh this Okay, so this is advanced custom fields. Yeah, that's right. So I think it's going to be post meta. So can you copy, go back and copy the idea of the post real quick? So one, two, three, the six, ID? five. Right. Yeah. I just want to see how this is getting stored real quick. All right. Um, so and then go to the WP, the post meta table. So WP post meta. And then search for that ID. So under search. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, or it, that'll be your row number. Go up to search in the tab toward the top. Uh, up a little higher to the left. Oh, yeah, right one. there. Yep. And then you should be able to do post ID equals that. I just want to see all the meta we have here. Yeah, okay. And then click go. So right. it should be somewhere in here, yeah. Mm. No? Is it not in here? Let me see. Might be stored somewhere else. I seem to find it. Hmm. Okay, let's see. So, does it is ACF storing? What kind of field is this? It's a plain text. Actually, you can take a look. Uh, is it this one? Okay. Right. Yeah, go back to the SQL. Okay. Uh, so it stores it, I think. Uh, hold on. Let me let me see your admin again for a second. Is this one? Uh, the actual product, product. page. Okay. Let's see, so we have brand name. Okay, go back to SQL for a second again. Uh, I That's, can see the brand name on here, but yeah, image. I'm curious why the barcode is not. This is the s database of the same site. Oh, hold on, hold on. We weren't viewing all of them. Here it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. There we go. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Okay, cool. So, all right, cool. I just want to make sure. Okay. So, what we can do then is we can have a meta query. Okay, so for the for the UI, are you gonna want the user to specify like with a drop down whether they want to search for barcode or search just generally, or do you want to?
because by default WordPress search is going to search the title and the content of posts. Yeah. If you want it to search meta, that gets expensive. Like it, it can take time. So it'll slow down your search. So right. I, I would recommend potentially adding like a drop down or something where the user can select that they want to search by barcode and then right. only search by barcode if the user says that's what they want to search for. That's up to you though, if, if it doesn't make sense for your application. Um, but uh, it will slow down search to search meta. Well, I think it does. Uh, uh, in case it's a performance in question, I think we should probably go with that. So you recommend here uh, somewhere to select for how yeah. do you want to select it? So yeah, maybe maybe to barcode. maybe to the right of like the search icon or something. You could have a drop down that's like search by barcode, search by title or so, or you know, search by content. I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't know what the UI should look like, but uh, what that would allow you to do is by default, when the user searches, it just searches title and content. But then when the user takes action and says, I want to search by barcode, it would allow the execution on the server side to search meta, which is going to take more time. We can implement it and then you can decide if it's a performance issue that you want to address though. Maybe, maybe we go that route. All right. Maybe so, I can add just a dummy search bar in here and test it out like that. And yeah, you could. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's look at adding it, adding support on the WP GraphQL side, and then I'll let you figure out what you want to do on the UI side. All right. Okay. Uh, so yeah, switch back. Um, go into some PHP somewhere, like if you have a custom plugin or theme running. Uh, all right. Yeah, I gotta. Got a theme that I'm uh, putting into. So I should go into a theme that I'm using, right? Uh, yeah, that'd be good because we'll actually need to write some code. All right, uh, I'm into it. I'm using the Plask uh, editor. Should that uh, be fine? Say it again. Uh, I'm using this uh, Plus. Uh, oh, yeah, as long. Grid. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. Okay. So, so yeah, go in. Any? Have you written any custom code yet for WP GraphQL? Yeah, actually, I've I registered some custom uh, fields. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll, the schema. Yeah, I was gonna say go wherever you're writing that code, and we'll group it together with that probably. Yeah, all right. Okay, here. Uh, just in case you wondered, I uh, here is the code I did for WP GraphQL. Okay. It's just some origin and some other minor stuff. Just wanted to output it differently. Cool. So we could do it within that action if you want. So just like line two thirty three, you could hit enter and we'll we can start writing code down there. All right. In here. Uh, like one more line down. After that semicolon, or leave the semicolon. Yeah, there you go. So, okay. So, what we want. So, what we want to do then is take that search, and have it search, um, the meta, right? So, okay. So let's do. Go open up. Uh, do you have the WP GraphQL code base? You can open in either like another tab or something like that. Oh, okay. And GitHub? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Just make sure it's the same version that you're using. Uh, okay, I gotta make sure because I'm not into the latest one. Okay, I, I don't think anything here's changed, but so Porcoro. So just open up that branch in the like okay. you go to releases or whatever and just open that up. I don't think anything's changed here, so you should be able to just open the current one. So let's go to source. I, I think you'll be fine. I don't think uh, anything's changed here. So go to the source. Yeah, master's fine or whatever, either one. Which one, sorry? The SRC directory, source directory. Oh, okay, 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 yep. And then go to data, and then connection, and then post object connection resolver. I believe yeah. this is where we want to be. 
So this is the logic that will actually resolve like lists of posts. So when you search, it'll take the query args and pass it to WP query. All right. So if you go down a little bit more, we'll have this right here, this section here at the bottom of this section that you're in now, there will be a filter All right. right here. So that this, filter, this oh, one? keep going down All right. right here. Uh, oh, up, oh, tab it more. Line, whatever, yeah, right there. So that's the filter we're gonna wanna hook into. Um, so copy that filter name real quick. Or yeah, just copy that whole line. While we're at it, because we need to know how many args there are. All right, so. Copying here, right? Um, actually, let's do it on line 236, outside of this action. Okay. So let's do apply filters, apply underscore filters. All right. Or, uh, sorry, add filter, not apply filters, add filter. So just change, yeah, add filter. It'll be singular, so add filter, yeah, cool. Yep, and then you can do comma function, and then it's gonna get, it's gonna receive all those parameters. All right. So then, uh, and then for the ones that say this with an arrow, get rid of this and arrow. So just make it like dollar sign source, dollar sign args, oh, all right. uh, dollar sign context, dollar sign info. So what this is going to do, it's preparing, it's preparing the arguments to be used by WP Query. You can add a semicolon after two on um, two thirty nine. Yeah. So. We have to at least return something. So do just right away say return query args. So this will make sure the filter keeps working. Right. And then above that, inside this function above the return, um, let's just uh, do if, do an if statement. Yep. And then do uh, inside the if uh, parentheses say like is set. So I S S E T. And which one? Uh, inside the if statement. Yeah. Yeah. So say is set. So I S S E T. Uh, is, is set all right. Yeah. And then we'll do so query args. So dollar sign query underscore args. And then with braces, square braces, do uh, S. So like, uh, yeah, S. Because we're going to look to see if there's a search parameter set. And if right. there is, um, Let's just see if this works right now. Uh, let's do inside the if is set s uh, inside the uh, curly braces. So I'm like hit enter. Um, yeah. So what we're gonna do if this is set, um, we want to basically create a meta query that will pass to the query args. So on this line, like tab in real quick and uh, do dollar sign. Meta query. Uh, meta query, something like this. Yeah, is equal to like an empty array, so just equals square brackets. Yeah. So let's create a uh, array. So, and then on the next line, do meta. Uh, well, actually, let's see. We can we can do this instead of a. Oh, I'm trying to think how to do this. All right. Because uh, so meta query, meta query is going to accept an array of arrays. Uh, to allow us to search meta. So actually, instead of equals empty array, hit hit enter inside the square brackets, and we'll just define what needs to go in here. So it's actually it's actually going to accept another array. So just create two more square brackets, and then hit enter inside that. And then uh, so the first thing is key. So as a string, so two yeah key. And then with the arrow, like the equal sign arrow, whatever that's called, <laughs> yeah, uh, right. you'll want that to be like barcode or wh like whatever uh, yeah. the key that ACF is storing this, it as. This one we were looking at? Yeah. All right. All right. And then, uh, and then the value, so hit comma, and then the next line will be value. And then, 
equal to, and then this will be the query args s. So this will be the actual search value. Yeah. And then hit a comma and then compare will be the next one. Oh, okay. And this will be, uh, uh, I'm trying to uh, think. Like? Uh, like would be a, like a partial match. Do you, do you think the users are gonna know the exact barcode they wanna search by? I think, yeah, they will go by the order they made. So for example, they see a product and their barcode, and then they wanna look at that uh, exact product with that same uh, barcode inside the site. So I so think- it be exact. Yeah, so I think uh, compare, I think we can just do the equal sign, I think. Let me go right. check. Yeah, so I think you can do equal sign. So here, here's what's going, here's what's going to happen. So yeah, save that real quick. Um, and then, uh, okay. so this won't, this isn't actually doing anything quite yet. Oops. Oh, you kicked you out. The session is, I don't know, it's taking me out. Oh uh, no. I think I got used to it. So I <laughs> saved the copy. So we haven't actually returned this yet. So, um, let's, uh, actually, okay. So instead of dollar sign meta query online 238, make it dollar sign query args. And then, and then brackets right there, right before the equal sign and then do meta underscore query in there. All right. All right. So what this will, what this will do is like search the barcode for what the user searches for. So save this real quick and then go into like graphical or whatever, uh, wherever you test your graphical searches. Yeah. All right. And okay. then, uh, yeah, do a query for products Let's, or whatever you were searching. Oh, is uh, this, oh, are these products? Oh, uh, Ooh, this is WP GraphQL for WooCommerce, huh? Yeah. Ooh, so this might be int this might not work. I let's let's give it a shot. Uh, this yeah. might be different. That filter might not apply because I think Jeff is doing different stuff to resolve. Let's give it a shot though. Okay, I'll I'll just copy a query that I'm using. Maybe we can get started from that. Yeah, that'd be good. All right, and limit. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll pass the barcode in here, right? Yeah, I'm checking. Hold on, I'm checking how he does stuff. This may or may not work um, right. because of how he does stuff. You can just do null there yeah. for after. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Do it without any input and see, get rid of the after argument. We don't need to fill it in. Yeah, I just copied from the, the project. You can leave it up there, it doesn't matter. Uh, click execute again real quick. Do it without search, just uh, do it without search. You can leave it up at the top, just get rid of it in the variables down below. You can leave it up at the top though. Uh, sorry. Uh, should I remove the variable? No, you can leave it there. Just get rid of the actual input uh, down below. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Right. Just search all of them, all right. I just wanna make sure we're getting products. Okay, we are getting products, so that's good. Okay, right. cool. So do uh do the search again and then uh, add it back, but don't execute yet. Let's go back to the code. All right. So what? Let's do on uh, line two forty seven. Let's say wp underscore j set. Sorry, wp underscore send. So not as a dollar sign. It'll be a function. Yeah, wp send underscore JSON and then put query query args in there. All right. So this is like, this is a debug 
uh, tactic I do sometimes. So save that. Yeah. All right. And then uh, go back to graphical. Sorry about this one. I think I might switch from this. Hmm. I can use the FTP maybe. Better read. Yeah, whatever, whatever works. Yeah, so line 247 again. Yeah. Maybe hmm. I can switch to the uh, Win FTP, how it's called. Hmm. Yeah, if you want, I don't whatever. do much of the backend stuff, so oh sure, that's, that's why I'm not properly set up. Yeah, maybe uh, yeah, whatever, whatever works. We can just do it in here. Still, it's fine. Uh, yeah, okay. Can you see the uh, editor? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, first taker here. Okay. Oh wait, what editor? I still see your Plesk editor. Uh, no. Oh right. Mm, okay. Maybe I can go with screen, whatever. Okay, can you see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so we're doing like this? Yeah. All right. Okay. And now where should we go? Um, so is that saved now? Yeah. Okay, so go to, uh, go back to um, graphical and just hit hit the play button again. So this should dump, no, so that didn't work. It didn't save. Uh, let me see. I actually did. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so that means this filter's not getting applied to products. Okay, that's one thing I was nervous was happening. Okay. Um, let me see what, if Jeff has a filter in here. I'm looking at, Okay, so change the filter. Okay, he has a different filter name. So go, so it's not GraphQL post object connection query arg, it's GraphQL product connection query args. Uh, so I remove post object. Okay. Yeah. Something like this? Yeah, try that now. Okay. And now try graphical again, try to hit the play sign and it should, Okay, something's still not right here. Um, yeah. Okay, go back to our filter then. Go back to our filter for a second. Just comment, comment out the if statement all the way down to WP send JSON. Just have it return query args. All of this. Right? Yeah, and then come out the WP send JSON. I just want to make sure without anything that it's working. Okay. So get rid of the line below it to the WP send JSON that we will. Uh, yeah, this is. This one? Yeah, just uh, get rid of the WP send JSON. Just have it be return query args. I just want to make sure. Oh, I see what I see what we're missing. Hold on, one, two. I see what we're missing. After on line two fifty, uh, between the the curly brace and the parenthesis, we need to say ten. So do oh, comma five, comma ten, three. and then comma one two three four five. Okay. Oh, sorry, not one two three four. <laughs> I was counting. Uh, it's just five. Ten five. Sorry, <laughs> I was counting out loud. Sorry. <laughs> so okay. try that. Try to execute again. It should work again. And if it does, we'll uncomment that code. Yeah. We okay, can. cool. So uncomment that code again. And then the WP send JSON, what it's gonna do is just, it's like a debug. It'll just print the query args back to graphical for us. All right. And okay, cool. So we're getting this stuff, but it's not, showing us the meta query anymore. So what did we screw up there? Okay, go back to our code. Let's see, did we make a typo or something? If, oh, go back, go back. Let me look at it one more time. Search, where is search showing up in here? Oh, it's cause our search was empty. Add the barcode back to the variable, the search variables. Okay. So. Oh boy, here we go. There we go. Okay, okay, cool. So now, now get rid of the WP send JSON. You could just comment it out for now. We might use it again. 
right. Now, so this should search, maybe not. What did we screw up? Meta query. It might be maybe something to compare. Do uh do it again real quick, the WP send JSON. Let me look at everything again. Yeah, it could be the compare. Yeah. <coughs> uh meta query. Yeah, let me hold on. Let me look at the docs for meta query real quick. Uh meta query is equal to an array. Key value. I don't know, it looks about right. Let me look at some examples. It looks, it looks correct. Key value compare. You can do relation. So let's go back to your code for a second. Um, on line 239, you can hit enter uh, before the parenthesis or before the bracket. Okay. And then do a uh, relation. Yeah. And then say equal like, uh, or like capital OR. Okay. Let's, let's try that. I don't think that should make a difference, but let's give that a shot. Should I comment these? Oh, you know what? This I'm curious. Is this using WP query behind the scenes? I'm not as familiar with WP GraphQL for WooCommerce. Uh, it looks like it is still using WP query, so that's good news. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uncomment that, or I mean, comment that again. So it's not finding one with, it looks like it's executing. Yeah. Do you have, um, can you easily install another plugin? Is that easy yeah, in your setup? I, yeah, I can do it actually in default. Okay. okay, so which one should I? Um, do you have WP GraphQL Insights installed by chance already? Insights, uh, no. Okay, so it's it's on GitHub. It's WP right. GraphQL Insights. This will actually um, show us like uh, somewhere in here. Oh this yeah. One. So this one will actually add like a query log to GraphQL requests, um, so we can actually see the SQL that's getting executed behind the scenes. All right. So this one's like a super helpful tool for debugging. Okay. So then execute a query again, just any query. Uh, uh oh, there we go. Uh, but the schema is not loading. Oh, come on. Uh, uh. I'll do a hard reload. Uh, no. Okay. Ah, uh, no. All right. Shoot, there must be a conflict with the version you're on. Uh, well, anyway, I shoot. This is frustrating. Uh, click the click the play again because we saw it working still. Yeah. Um, it's not ideal. We'll have uh, to. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. Go. It just took a while. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, right. so uh, over on the right side, you see where it says tracing. You can click the collapse, like the little down arrow to collapse it. Uh, sorry. Up a little bit to the left, tracing where it says tracing under extensions. No, in the in the results, so we have data, products, page info, nodes on the right panel. And here? No, in the, like where the results are. Right here, okay. See where it says tracing? Just a little bit to the left of your cursor. 
Oh boy. All right. Sorry. Yeah. All good. Okay. Uh, click the little carrot next to it to collapse it like the down arrow to the left of it. Okay. So now we, the next one is query log. Oh. So this is an actual right. like yeah. SQL queries that are executing behind the scenes to make this thing happen. So we can scroll down here and look at all the SQL queries that happened. Okay. And because what, what we want to look for is like what SQL WP GraphQL for WooCommerce um, generated. Okay. I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. So what, what, yep. This is what, okay. So this is why it's not working. It's trying to, it's trying to search for posts where the excerpt or the title is like that value and where post meta is also like that or is equal to that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. So, so this is, this is where it comes back to that UI part. Um, I'm trying to think, let me, let me see if there's a way we can do a WP query to search both. Um, search. Okay. Let me see. I don't know if, I don't know if we can easily do it. Let's see. Um, okay. So here, I have a, I have a quick win idea real quick. Go back to your code. Um, I think I might have found a solution where we can do something else, but so real quick, let's just uh, unset. So on line 238, before we do the meta query, uh, just hit just hit enter there, and then say unset, uh, and then do uh, yeah unset, and then that'll be yep, and then do query args s. So we're just gonna unset the search. All right. This, this isn't going to be the final solution, but this should work now. This should get us just back that one with that barcode. So right. save this real quick and then execute again. Okay. Is that the right product? Uh, I don't think so. We can see it. No, actually, actually it's, a, it's a type of a T. Uh, and it's returning something else. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. Uh, one, two, maybe I can try updating this one. Updating the field might fix something or not. Uh, because uh, I'm not sure if the lines have the same barcode, maybe, in the, in the setup. No, actually, it doesn't have at all. Oh, what? Uh, oh, get rid of the relation that we set. We said, or we want, yeah, get rid of that real quick or make it and maybe. Okay. Try that again uh, with and. Yeah. Still no? Uh, no. No. All right, let's look at the underlying SQL again that. Okay, I just. Uh... Did a hard reload maybe? No. Okay, all right, go collapse tracing again and let's look at that query log again. I want to look at the SQL. So it's toward the bottom of this. this one. Okay. Oh, interesting. So you could do a like command F in here or I guess you're on PC, uh, what is it? Control F like to find. Yeah. And search about the barcode. Yeah. No, nothing. What? Uh, I don't know. Uh, keep going uh, on. Okay, I think oh. right. there's no value passing by. Right. Oh no, what happened? Oh, duh, because we just unset it. <laughs> I'm a moron. All right, go back to our code. <laughs> before we unset it, <laughs> so on line 238, hit enter uh, before that unset. And let's store the search as another uh, variable. So right above onset. Should I copy this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So above the onset. So yeah, say like 
uh, name a variable like uh, barcode equals query arg search. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like barcode equals that. Yep, and now we unset it. And then on line 244, the value, make value is equal to barcode. Oh, right. Yeah, so, so this should support barcode search, but now it's not gonna support title and excerpt search, right? Yeah. Make so, sense, yeah. so that's where the UI comes in, I think, because uh, then you could tell the user, like, do you want to search by barcode or general search or whatever? Um, I do think I found potentially another way to do this. Um, oh, here we go. Now it returns the, the good one. Okay, cool. Yeah. But works. now if you try to search something else like limes, like the title of limes, you're going to get nothing, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, because yeah. now it's going to search for just barcode. Sure. So, so there's two ways to do this. Like you could have a UI, like we could register another input. So you could have search, the input search that could just search normally. And then we could register a new field like barcode search. And then on the UI side, you could give the user the opportunity to select like, do you want to search by barcode or not? Maybe a checkbox or something um, or whatever. Like you could have a drop down somewhere where they can check, I want to search by barcode. And then if that is selected, you use barcode search as the input. Otherwise, you use regular search as the input. All so right. that's an option. Um, but at least this gets you to the point where you understand like how to adjust this stuff. Yeah. Um, I, gotcha. I will chat this. I got, we got this link you could open real quick that may or may not work. It looks like somebody. Um, maybe has a way to alter the SQL to search for meta or title. So we might be able to play with this. I don't, right. I don't know. So it looks like it's going to be that lower chunk of code. Uh, this one. Yeah. All right. We can, we can give this a try. Okay. So online like 255 or 256. Yeah, you could do it up there. That's fine. Maybe. All right. And then, and then the way how I. Yep. Do the search. Okay. Yeah. So just add that key. All right. Something like this. And then it will be it'll be the the barcode would be the value. So it'll be meta or title equals barcode. Yeah. All right. And yeah, we can, let's see. All right, this is all I think, okay. Uh, and lines are returned. So lines works. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh boy, it works. Ooh. So now it's only searching for title though. It's not searching content. I don't know if that matters to you or Actually, yeah, because I don't have that much of a content. So, so ooh, that the main title focus didn't work. is the title and uh, this field. So that title didn't work. Yeah. Uh, go yeah. back. Go back to the code. We might have to. Let's see. So it has post title is equal to. I wonder if we change that online two fifty two change that to like maybe um post title instead of equal change it to like uh, sorry yeah right there after post underscore title it says equals s yeah so change the equal sign to like oh okay like just capital like i yeah, think it's a curve. okay let's give that a shot okay yeah, I think it makes sense. So is that what? Okay, let's just, let me just check. Okay, so it's equal. Let's search about the line. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't search actually. Lines, it's fine. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah, I think you're gonna, cause there's a good chance people are gonna make typo. Okay. All right, so here we got the title. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, I don't find one. Okay, let's just go line. Uh, no. Oh no. What happened? It was just working. <laughs> yeah, but it's it requires to be the exact title, I think. Oh, uh, so even with like, weird. Um, hold on. All right. Okay. Um, go back. Okay, so. Ah, so get rid of that percentage sign. Uh, or no, add a, uh, so where it's like percent S, put another percent sign after the S. So what that was saying is you wanted something that ended with the search term. This means oh, yeah. you want something that has the search term anywhere in the string. Yeah, all right. It was a shot. Oh, shoot. What did we do wrong? Uh, is it something okay? Basic JSON parse. Uh, we screwed something up. Go back to the code real quick. Let's see. Uh, should it be in these parts as well? Oh, maybe. Uh, right. Um, uh, now that's returning crap you don't want, though. Yeah, it's returning the latest part, actually. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. All right. Um, we might have to play around with um, okay, the SQL. Okay. Uh, let's see. Get rid of those last two changes. Okay. I'm trying to think that. Hmm. Should it be maybe one of these with a double percentage? Maybe. Uh, let's see where. Okay. Um. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Here, uh, I'll send you this link to as well. Or let's leave it as is and go back in. Or I, yeah, leave it as is and wait. This is when we were getting there. Or right, yeah, leave it as is. Go execute it again. Let me look at it one more time. We were getting. Were we getting results? No, I should have just. Oh, okay. Somewhere. So we have. A syntax error or something. Go. Uh, hit hit. Open up your Chrome Dev Tool or yeah or Firefox. Your Firefox. Um, oh wait, uh, can you can we get to the network panel from here? We tried this once before, right? Uh, yeah, I'm in the network panel. Maybe I need a refresh. Okay, and then click the play button again. Yeah, okay. click, and then go to the inspect that uh, request. Yeah, go to response. Uh, yep. Okay, so what is this telling us? So it's telling us you have an error in your SQL syntax. Uh, so we screwed up our SQL by adding that extra percent sign. Um, okay, hold on. Okay. I think we have just something clunky with our... Oh, gosh! Yeah, I'm silly. All right, go <laughs> Get rid of that. Oh, golly, dude. That that percent S on line 252 is for sprint F, not for SQL. So we're, yeah, so get rid of that. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then add, um, yeah, add it to, oh, gosh. Add the uh, percent sign on line 251 after those two S's. This is so crazy because, <laughs> yeah. All right, so it's where should I add the percentage? Yeah, right there and the one before or too. 
Let's give uh, that a shot. Should... All right. I think. And okay. then try to click play again, maybe. Hey, we got something. Is that what we wanted? No, it's not what we okay. wanted. We want a full view, first of all. And no, actually, we're getting the latest boss. All right, go back to SQL. We might, um, uh, and okay, get rid of those that we just added. Let's get back to the where we had it working. Click save. So that's working again. Yeah. Go go back to SQL again. The SQL code, I think. So the inspection. Oh, oh that's okay. yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah. Um. Um. I. <laughs> Hold on, go uh, execute it with, uh, and then let's look at the query log again in, to see the actual SQL that's being output. Yeah, right there. So collapse tracing and then. Okay, uh, okay, just execute it. Okay. So we wanna, yeah. Okay, so, so, oh, so let's see, what was like lines or, Meta key. This kind of looks right. Where post title is like limes or meta key. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this solution searches both the title and the meta value. Yeah, which is what we want. Yeah. But it's not working in some cases. Um, so try with just like regular lime again, because that wasn't working, right? Yeah. It needed to be an exact search. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think I might know. Maybe. Yes, okay. All right, go back to your code. I think I know what's up. So the on line 252, so we say post title like, and then that percent %s is a replacement for the sprint f function. So what we actually need to do is wrap, uh, we need another percent before and after that, <laughs> if this makes sense. So, okay, okay, so for title, for title, this is I think where we wanna do it. Where it says title right there, dollar sign title. We want, uh, okay. yeah, so right before the dollar sign there, put a, a single quote, yeah, single quote, dollar sign, single quote. Uh, or, or percent sign, sorry, percent sign. Yeah, single quote, percent, single quote. And, okay. So put uh, single quotes before and after the percent signs. We want them to be strings. Oh, uh, so I wrap it into uh, uh, something like this or I'm messing up? Uh, yeah, go, so put a single quote after the first percent sign and then a period. So it'll be a single oh. quote, percent sign, oh, single so quote. Concatenating the yeah, 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 sorry. All right. All right. And then dollar sign title and then period, yep. And then uh, percent sign again. Okay, cool. So what this is gonna pass through to SQL now, um, if we look at here, here's the docs for the SQL, if I, yeah. So we just need to wrap the title with a percent sign on either side and then this will say, um 
if we look at the like operator, if you scroll down just tad, yeah, you wrap it like the third one. And we weren't doing that. We were just saying like and then the string. And I think that defaults to starting with, I think. So let's give this one a shot. Yep. Okay, we got a line. And boy, Ooh. Oh, it does. Oh, that, right. Hey, it worked. It worked. It works, but all right. Yeah, that's that's okay, right? Wait, wait. All right, we got more more products. Yeah, here's some... the line. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So Ooh. that works. That that's what you'd want, right? Yeah, but that's the way. And then do. All right, one two one two one two one two. What is the barcode? Whew. Here we go. It's the barcode. Wow, that's pretty wait, cool. Good job, man. Hopefully we didn't introduce any more bugs. Um, yeah. Like I would, I would test this thoroughly and make sure we didn't like screw up anything else in the process. <laughs> uh, Cause there's a chance like whatever we did to filter the search, it may have overridden something else that we didn't want. Um, so just double check that and make sure stuff's working the way you want it to. Um, right. And then you can tweak it from there. Uh, but yeah, this, this is sweet. Right. I think the search should be working at my site as well. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. The search. No. Uh, it's Limes. Here's the barcode. The result. That's how about right. how about limes? <laughs> uh oh no. Fine lines. What is going on here? All right. Maybe it's something by passing the values. Do it with limes again here. Oh, is it? Because it's working yeah, yeah. here, right? Hmm. Is this the same to... query that's running? Yeah. Or go go yeah. copy the query again because we changed some stuff. Yeah, we removed the after. Let's just. Uh... Okay. So the after, what what is in your application? Oh, go back to your application. Let's look at the actual request that's being sent. Make sure we're doing it exactly the same. All right. Okay. Are you looking for this one? Yeah, so or go back to like in your actual front end application, yeah. like open up, right. yeah. So open up network tools again and then click search here and let's see what, what actually gets sent to the network when you search. I just want to make sure we're all right. This. So click the click actual search or was this it? Yeah. So this is the parameter. Okay. Here. So we did search limes variables. So after is an empty string. So do an empty string that might be screwing it up. You might want to change that to null. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Just, just to be safe, if it's not actually set, I usually have it. So yeah, so if it's not set, I have it null. All right. I, uh, if it is set, use it. If it's not set, so you could do it as a ternary, like and say like, yeah. uh, uh, end I cursor. I'm using this one for fetching more data, so it's. Yeah, so if there is an end the cursor, answer. use it, but if there is no end cursor, have it null. So you can do that as a ternary. Uh, yeah. Because I think an empty string might cause issues, maybe. I might. I could be mistaken. Okay. Uh, but just to be oh, safe. Hmm. Here we go. Is this something with the WooCommerce session again? Because it, it's interesting that your front end app is not working the same way. Wait, go do Nest Cafe on the on in graphical. Was that working? Was that working when we were in graphical? Uh, I didn't really check it. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Uh, I need to pass the after. Oh, uh, get rid of that. Yeah, after, and you could do null. So that mm -hmm. does work here. Yeah. So it's working here, but not in your front end app. This makes me think there's something going on with 
like the WooCommerce filters again because something is working here, but not working on your front end app. Yeah, okay. Let me see if I've got a session. Okay, I'll delete the session. Still no. Uh, hmm, no. Oh, now it's good. Oh, come on. Do you have, uh, can you open Chrome so we can look at the request headers? Yeah, okay. I just want to see, cause open up the network tab in Chrome. I just want to see if it were still trying to send the WooCommerce session headers, even though you cleared it. So do a refresh again or whatever. And then, yeah, find whichever request was the search. So you can scroll down to see the request. Okay, so that's the search. And what headers are we sending? You, It's still sending the WooCommerce session. Yeah, it might be because of, I've got it stored in the Chrome, yeah. Oh, okay, clear it there. I I just want to make I want I I don't know what all that does. Okay, so now we don't have the blue session. Okay, cool, but it's still not getting results. After no. But if you do this exact search in, yeah. this is crazy. Should I try maybe the playground? Yeah, sure. See if. Oh, that, yeah, the, like, are any of those products uh, we private or something? Bother. Yeah, we don't need to bother here. If it works in Playground, it's something in my side. Yeah, that's a, yep, good call. You're, get, you're getting good at debugging. Yeah, man, I'm getting used to it. Oh, and this one. Okay. And then my variables. Boom. Okay, so this is the way, all right? Yeah, mm -hmm. let's give that a shot. Okay, cool. So it's not WooCommerce, something. So go to the net. Are any of the products like not published, but for or something? All right. Like maybe, I don't know. Or is there like some other reason they wouldn't be showing? Like search Nescafe in here. Okay. So it's shown here and they're in stock and they're published. So Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Can we go go grab one of these product IDs real quick? Just any of these that say Nescafe. I want to look how they're saved in the database real quick. All right. Just to see if like maybe there's something funky with like if they're saved with any weird characters or something. Okay. Are we going to the Postmate? All right. Uh, I think just post because these would be titles. And then search yeah. for that ID. Uh, ID. I just want to see, like, there could be some weird character encoding in here. No, okay. it looks okay. Um, okay, go back to the, go back to graphical. Let's look at the query log one more time. I want to make sure the SQL that we're generating is what I think we're generating. <laughs> All right. Okay. We might have added too many. Let's see. Is like Nescafe. Um, can you copy that SQL statement, the entire string, without the quotes, just anything inside the quotes? Oh, so yeah, six thing. up to select, and then let's go to your PHP my admin again, and right. execute it. You can go up to SQL. It's like right next to the search tab. 
Okay. And then you can paste it in here. All right. Uh, what is it? Oh, that uh, after the or on the second line toward the middle, that N, I think you can get rid of that. Is that what it was crying about? What else? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So then you should be able to hit. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so it found it found stuff. So change. Um, uh, go to SQL again. Oh gosh, it doesn't like what it doesn't keep a history. Oh gosh, what a bad experience. Yeah. So I right. use like SQL Pro. So get rid of that N again. I wonder if that's causing us issues. Where does that come from? Um, and instead of WP post dot ID at the, uh, so the very first thing is select SQL calc found rows. Just change that instead of WP post dot ID, change it to a star. Like the, uh, like, a, everything. Yeah. So not W get rid of WP posts also just, Oh yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So we'll select everything. I just want to make sure we're getting the right ones. I think. Yeah. Uh, next call, please. Five, okay. Five. Uh, could you hold one minute? I got to open the door. Real quick. Yeah, for sure. Sorry. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. All right. So this is working. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go back to that query log one more time. On, uh, yeah, okay. So what happens below this? What happens next? We're asking for items. Oh, what's this select found robes? Scroll down. Keep scrolling down. I want to see if there's another SQL statement. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's that's the ones, right? So go back to go back to SQL, open this like maybe side by side can or whatever. I guess we could toggle 12, 300 as an ID. Yeah. Yeah. So this is getting them. So something else is happening. All right. So, so if you look here online, go back to the query log where we were, it's toward the bottom. Uh, it was showing us, because what, so what happens, what happens behind the scenes, anytime you use WP query, um, it first will query just for the ideas to see if like these objects have been in the cache and then it'll follow up and query the full object. So it does this query and in response it gets the IDs and yeah. those are the IDs and then it goes back and asks for the full object. So yeah. this is where something must be funky copy that line of SQL there because we we got the right IDs if you look if you look here in the results 12 300 9958 4248 so it actually got them yep but now something else is funky so copy that SQL that your cursor's on right now yeah that one let's try that in 
I don't know if this is something in WP GraphQL or WP GraphQL for WooCommerce. Plus, he's giving me a hard time tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. This looks like it might be whatever's happening here. Looks like it's something in. It might be something in WooCommerce. So did that that just work too? Yeah, this one did. The hell. All right. Okay. Scroll down. Let's see what else is happening. So it looks like things are happening as they should. Okay. So product type. Try this one. And so it looks one? like, yeah, it looks like this is something happening in. Okay. This is happening in WooCommerce. Yeah. All copy right. this. Let's see what happens here. It looks like this is checking for product visibility or something. I have no idea what this stuff is. This is something to do with terms of commerce, it. but this seems like it's getting, I don't know. Is this something you're familiar with? I'm not that familiar with how WooCommerce does things. Maybe, maybe these are fields that you queried for. Uh, I don't know, but it looks like it's executing that. So. This is something I can, you can see in the stack trace right below that this is being executed by uh, WP GraphQL for WooCommerce. So this is stuff I'm not familiar with, but it's getting data. So that's all we care about really. So somewhere else, somewhere it's getting the data, but it's not returning it to you. So I wonder if we have an issue in the model layer somewhere. Okay. Cause this, like the SQL is getting the data that we expect. Yeah, okay, so there's one more query that is, that is doing, okay, I don't think it was, very good. Yeah. So that's getting all the meta for those posts, so that's fine. Yeah, yep. So keep going down. I don't, I, I think the data, I don't think the data is the issue. I think there's something in our model layer. So I'm not super familiar with how Jeff's got it set up in WP GraphQL for WooCommerce. So let me pull it up and see what I can find out. WP GraphQL WooCommerce. Go in, um, yeah, go in, in your code editor and open up WP GraphQL for WooCommerce real quick. Okay. I think we're, I think we got something in here. Okay. What should I open it? Um, it'll be in WP GraphQL Commerce. It'll be includes model and then class product, I think. Yeah. What is the class of it? Okay. So, okay. Um, Go back actually to the file system. I think he is, it looks like this extends. He has another class called CRUD CPT um, in here. Let's open that one. And then there should be something in here. Search for is private. Like I think it's is underscore private maybe. Yeah. So at the top of this one, just do me a favor and say return false right away. Just immediately just say return false. Okay. Let's try that and then execute your query again. I just want to see if I think I want to if the model layer is causing us issues. Right. This this query? Yeah. So run this again. View it. So yeah, scroll all the way up. So that one was okay. So Nest Cafe is working. So something in the model layer. Uh, uncomment coming out that line again in the model layer. And execute this again. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, well, now we're getting S Cafe. What the hell? Yeah. Uh, I think GraphQL was working fine. It was in the front end. So oh. Uh, we can. Set yeah. Do okay. Playground. Yeah. Do that again. Then do that again. Um. So leave this. Return false here, and then do it here. Yep. Uh, no. Is this how it works? No. Ah. 
one, two, one, two, one, two. Again, it. Mm. What the hell? All right. Um, I don't know. I I think I'd probably have to like pull this locally and run through more stuff to figure out what the issue is. It doesn't seem like I. My thought was maybe because it looks like SQL's. Well, SQL was working over there. Oh damn it! Go open the uh, open WP GraphQL Insights real quick. Um, let's enable it on on um, uh, or open it in the code editor real quick. Oh, because I want to, I want to change some code to allow it on. Um... Yeah. So go, I think what? under source, I think, uh, actually go back to the main file. I can't remember where it is in here. Go to WP GraphQL inside sub PHP, the main file at the bottom. Uh, this one yeah i think we have something in here that only shows it for like admins or something i can't remember scroll down i haven't been in this code base for a little bit keep going uh, okay somewhere in here let me look at this uh okay um Okay, at the bottom, like on line 248, on line 248, just say, um, oh, oh wait, um, or comment out that line, what is it? Comment out lines 230 to 232. Is it these two? Yeah, I think so. Comment that out real quick and then try to run GraphQL Playground again. I think that'll, there we go. So now it's here. So let's look at the SQL here. So clap, yeah. yeah, query log. Is it, if the SQL is different here, then something's funky. Um, so look for a barcode again or whatever. All right, this is the one. Okay, so we asked for that. And then the next one should be the six IDs again. Ooh, so there's no more of this. Hmm. Okay, so this this is actually interesting. I see this SQL actually looks different. Um, if you look if you look up here, so we have uh, where what was it? Where barcode is whatever, but it's also looking for uh, taxonomy terms that was not in the other one. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> Where is that coming from? Um, what the hell? Uh, should I try running this one into the... Yeah, sure. I don't know where that's coming from. Right. Yeah, let's... Yeah, so I see the couple of these escape sequences. Maybe I have a <coughs> On the first line, there's a couple too. <coughs> uh, why? Why is this happening though? Why is uh, it's some sort of formatting. I know, actually. I mean, why? Uh, why is the query is different here? Yeah, something else is getting filtered. That's I'm curious too. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I remove them. Oh uh, yeah, those return IDs and nothing. Else. Hmm. So get rid of that. So let's see. Term taxonomy ID. Okay, go in, go in. Um he's still in here in SQL. Go to WP underscore term underscore taxon or what is it? Um taxonomy. Yeah. yeah. And ID, look at ID seven. What is seven? 
So product visibility. Okay, so I think this might still be something in the model layer somewhere. It looks like, uh, damn it, all right. Um, I, I need to get more familiar with this, let's see. This is gonna be something in WP GraphQL WooCommerce maybe, or it might be in WooCommerce core. It looks like it's trying to figure out if you, if the product is visible by querying this taxonomy. Okay. Um, but I don't know where this happened. <coughs> Go, ah, uh, damn it. Um, I don't know if this is something that Jeff is doing or WooCommerce core. Um, term visibility. I'm trying to product connection resolver. Oh, I think I found it. Where the hell are we? Okay. Connection catalog visibility. Um, let's see. Oh, are you still there? 